Joe Shane's seat after that game on Sunday is absolutely getting a little bit warmer here. The Eagles' offense was really just all Saquon Barkley. They were one of 13 on third down. They didn't get their first conversion on third down until the fourth quarter. And somehow they still managed to score 28 points in this game. Saquon Barkley had 17 carries for 176 yards, one touchdown. He was averaging 10.4 yards per carry. And, you know, we thought that this was going to be a revenge game. And, uh, I mean, this is just, this goes even beyond that. Saquon Barkley capitalized on the explosive plays in this game. He had zero against the Cleveland Browns the previous week where the Philadelphia Eagles had eight explosive plays on offense. None of them came from Saquon. Almost every explosive play in this game against the Giants came from Saquon. He had the 55-yard run, the 38-yard run in the third quarter, and another 41-yard run in the third quarter. Barkley now has the most rushing yards of any running back in Eagles franchise history through six games. He's third in rushing in the NFL right now with 658 yards through six games for the Philadelphia Eagles. So Saquon is on pace here for over 1,500 yards. He's averaging 6.1 yards per carry. The 176 rushing yards is the second most by a running back going up against his former team. And the amount of rushing yards that he had are the most of any New York Giants opponent at MetLife. And that's in a 15-season history. And it's crazy that Saquon didn't do that while he was a New York Giant. The most yards that Saquon had had on the ground at MetLife Stadium when he was playing for the New York Giants was 152 yards versus the Houston Texans. Now, Saquon did all of that without Jordan Mailata at left tackle. They also lost Mekhi Becton in this game as well. Lane Johnson has missed some time. So the narrative that has been going around about the Philadelphia Eagles still having one of the best offensive lines in the league I think that's false at this moment in time. And John Mara has to be feeling some kind of way. Forget sleeping at night or getting good rest or getting poor rest. I don't think that John Mara is getting any sleep after that game on Sunday against the Philadelphia Eagles. 